Hello, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to design such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a completely free 3D CAD system that can be used both as a hobby and commercially, which means that we can use FreeCAD for both home projects and paid projects. If you would like to learn more about working with FreeCAD, you can take part in my course, the link to which is in the description of this video. And now I will show you how to make this type of part in FreeCAD. I'll create a new file and we'll start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. I will create a rectangle. Dimensions are 200 by 70 millimeters. And based on this rectangle, I'm going to add a 15 millimeter extrusion. Then I will create another sketch on this face. And here, I create reference geometries at the beginning. I'm going to select this edge, and based on this edge, I'm going to create reference geometry, and now I'm going to create auxiliary geometries. First line and second line. These lines will be construction geometries, and I will place them in the center of this rectangle. And now I'm going to create four circles. The diameters of the circles do not matter much because their circles will only determine the positions of the holes and only their position will be important. I will also add the dimensions between these holes, 170 here. Here 40. And I'm going to place these holes symmetrically about these lines. And OK. The sketch is completed. The holes are arranged symmetrically about these lines. We also have information here that the sketch is not constrained, but we do not have specific hole diameters because we do not need it. Additionally, these auxiliary lines are not fully dimensioned, but they are only construction lines, so it is not completely necessary to determine the exact location of these lines, especially in the case of such a simple sketch. Of course, if you still wanted to obtain a stage in which the sketch would be fully constrained, you would need to add the dimension of the circles. I will add an equality constraint between these circles. And now we need to define the length of these construction lines. And we can do it by selecting this point, selecting this line, and selecting the constraint. Here I select this point, and this point, and select this constraint. Here, point, line, and constraint. And here is the same, point, line, and constraint and now the sketch is fully constrained. However, as I mentioned, in this case it was not entirely necessary, but this is how we can make the sketch fully constrained. We leave the sketch and now we choose the hole wizard. And here we choose the isometric profile, as the thread size we choose M8. And here we choose counterbore as the type, and we have created something like this. And now we select this face and we will create another sketch on this face. We select this command, select this line to create reference geometry here and we select drawing a rectangle. And we draw the rectangle in such a way that the first corner of the rectangle lies on this line. That is, we move the cursor over this line and when this line is highlighted in yellow we click with the left mouse button and we draw the second point approximately here. Let's add this dimension here, 5 millimeters. This dimension here is 140 millimeters. And let's place this rectangle symmetrically in the center of the solid. So let's, let's create auxiliary geometry. Switch it to construction geometry. Select this point, this point, and this line, and select the symmetry constraint. Then we select this point, this point, and this line, and select the symmetry constraint. Here, 
As before, the sketch is not completely constrained. However, the underlying geometry that we want is green, so we can exit the sketch and add a pocket through all feature to do something like this. Now we will move on to creating these elements and for this purpose we will create auxiliary planes. Select this face and select the create a datum plane command. And we move this plane in the z-axis by minus 70 millimeters. And let's create the second plane right away. We select this wall, create a second plane and we also move this plane in the z-axis by minus 70 millimeters. Click OK. And now select this plane and create a sketch on this plane. Now let's switch to section view. And here I would like to recognize this edge. If I choose this command now, I can't recognize this edge because the plane is blocking my view. We can turn off the visibility of this plane. To do this, switch to the model tab, select the plane and press the space bar to turn off the visibility of this plane. And here we have another plane and we also select it. Press the space bar to turn off the visibility of this plane. I switch back to the tasks tab and now select this command. I select this line and this way I have obtained reference geometry based on this line. Then we choose to draw a circle and draw two circles. Let's add the dimensions of these circles and the diameter of the smaller circle is 15 millimeters and the diameter of the larger circle is 25 millimeters. Now select the polyline drawing command and create a shape something like this. Create this so that the second polyline segment lines up with this reference line. So when you start drawing a polyline in this place, place the second point of the polyline on this line and place the third point on this line. And finish drawing the polyline. OK. And then we select this point, the circle, and select the tangent constraint. And we do the same thing with this point, with the circle, and we choose the tangency constraint. Let's create auxiliary geometry. And we place this geometry symmetrically between these two points and switch it to construction geometry. Then we select a circle, select a line, and place the circle on this line so that the center of this circle lies on this line. So that the entire sketch is in the center of this part. And we also add a dimension. This point from this point, and here, enter 30 millimeters. And now we trim this piece of geometry. OK, close the sketch and add an extrusion symmetrically from the plane for 15 millimeters. And here we have a sketch created on this plane. And now we will create the same sketch on this plane. And we could draw such a sketch, but we can also simply copy this sketch from this plane to this plane. Here I will temporarily turn off the visibility of this part. I'll select this plane, I'll choose create sketch, and here we have a command like create carbon copy, select this command. And here we need to indicate the sketch that we want to copy. However, this plane obscures the view of this sketch, so we switch to the model tab. Then we turn off the visibility of this plane. But here, at this point, I can't select this plane, because the create carbon copy command is active. So I'm going to right click to cancel that command. I select a plane in the feature tree. I click the space bar to turn off the visibility of this plane. Then I select the create carbon copy command and I indicate some geometry of this sketch. And this sketch was copied to the second plane. We go to the tasks tab, exit the sketch and we have created a sketch on this plane. I will turn on the visibility of the entire solid. And now I select this sketch and I add an extrusion of this sketch symmetrically from the plane by 15 millimeters. We click OK and we have created something like this. Now I will turn off the visibility of this sketch and add further fragments of this model.
here we will create another auxiliary plane. To do this, I select this face and this face and select the create a datum plane command. The plane has been created like this, but here let's rotate it 90 degrees in the Y axis. And in this way, we have created a plane that lies between these faces. Click OK, select the plane and create a new sketch. Here, I will create reference geometry. I select this command and point to this edge and this edge, then this edge and this edge. This edge was already indicated when you pointed to this edge here. I switch to section view and now I choose to draw polylines and I draw a shape like this. And I do the same thing here. I right click to cancel the polyline drawing. And now let's add dimensions 20 millimeters here. Let's add 20 here too. Now this dimension and here 15 and 15 here too. OK, close the sketch and add an extrusion of 15 millimeters and symmetrically from the plane. Click OK. Turn off the visibility of the plane and thus we created something like this. And that's all for today. And if you would like to learn more about working with FreeCAD and want to learn the basics of 3D modeling in this system step by step, you can take part in my FreeCAD basics of 3D modeling training, the link to which is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.